Hello, and am I blurry? No, we're good. Hello, welcome to this week's episode. We are going through everything. Our first U.S. retailer order. We are excited. And we have to get ready for some things, so I'm like, gonna take you on the journey. Okay, can I do this with one hand? Oh boy, let's see. Mm. Just got some things for Uline. So to help us prepare for everything we need to do for this order. I need to like, uh oh, we're gonna need to sit you guys up. Just a sec. see this like you are on a split stack of boxes right now this is how we're operating and some thank you cards so you know this is how we roll so for our first big US retailer order ever uh, part of the requirements is that we have like hooks on the hats so that they can be hung up so I needed to get and test what this is gonna look like so I've got from Uline some slat wall accessories <laughs> Some hardware so we can actually like practice hanging the hook, see if we know what we're doing. Then I got, uh oh. Oh, wait, no, we do. Okay, good. Okay, thank goodness I used to work at Northern Getaway. I mean, just showing my age, but I at least know how to operate one of these little pistol things. Do I? It's been a long time though. I mean, it's been many, many years. So we've got to use these choo choo um, to hang our hooks. So that should be fun, figuring out how these actually work. I'm like the type of person who doesn't really like reading instructions, but I'm feeling like that's gonna need to be something I do. Ah, my nails don't pick up anything. <laughs> I literally dropped something and I can't pick it up. Maybe the hooks will help. <laughs> that's embarrassing. Okay, so I've got my little pistol grip, which this is called. I got my sea hook things but I gotta put this needle in, and I gotta unbox my little hangers. I got... Let's show you this, let's take you down. I'm just free with hand in this. Hopefully, hopefully I'm capturing this really super interesting opening. So these I got to actually like test what it would be like if we were to hang our hats, because we've never ever hung them before. I've never hung them like this. Like we don't do we're that since we're, we're pretending we're in the store, yeah. So let's hang you up. See what like, we need our own little retail test open here. Sorry, <laughs> loud bang. All right, put that in the wall. Look at that. We could actually use this later to hang hats if we want. Yeah, wait, then the hook hangs on. The hook hangs on, the hook hangs on the hook. Ah, we'll see how this goes. We're, this is our big like, what's our, what are our hats gonna look like in an actual store? Test, yeah, it's good times. All right, I'm just gonna pause this for a sec cause I gotta figure out how to get this needle in and that's gonna be fun. I'm concerned I'm not going to be able to do this with my nails. I'm not gonna lie. Getting this, this needle in, but let's figure it out. Read the instructions. To install needle, place needle Guard over the needle. Let's turn the pointed needle lock towards the front of the tool. Turn the tool over. The struggle is real. This is dangerous. Don't do as I do. No one is going to want to watch me put this needle in here. This is going to be the worst. Christine, you just skip this whole part, all right? Let's, let's pretend. I know, it's, yeah, it does sound like piercing. It does sound like that ear piercing down. sound. Okay. You guys, she couldn't figure it out from the instructions, but she watched a YouTube video and now she's all set. Okay, so 
I feel like we gotta test it on a hat, Hanukkah. Because I looked up, I'm like, how are other hats hung in the store? So I saw that they're like, they poke this hole through like the, um, the that? <laughs> the dart? I don't even know what that's called. What is this little dots called that have no purpose? Are those like air vents? Oh, I have no idea what the name is. What are, what are these? Like, I own a hat company, I don't know. I don't know what those little holy things are. Okay, I feel like the most important thing here is gonna be to not poke yourself in the finger. So I think I'm gonna use, I'm gonna poke in the middle. You wanna come watch yeah. what I'm doing? Cause you're gonna have to learn this. So we might as well figure it out together. And this, well, don't poke myself. Okay, didn't poke myself, good. And then you have to put your fingers on either side of it. And then you gotta pierce it. Oh, okay, so you put it like through the actual hole here. Yeah. And then have your hands kind of around it and then push it down. Yeah, I had like my fingers like, like kind of like, like, kind of like that. Okay. Okay. Never know that this is so entertaining. We're gonna, we're gonna take you guys. Sorry, I have, I'm holding up my thank you cards. Yes, that is my reality. Uh, and we're gonna show you like, how does this hang? Oops, sorry. How does this actually hang on our pseudo retail hook? that we have established here. You guys, I don't, I don't know here. I don't know about this. I don't. Like, I feel like if it's like. I don't like, love it. Like, look how it's like. It feels like random. it's like, yeah. But, okay, but so like, sorry, what are you, what, where are you thinking maybe would be better to hang it? Like, or maybe trying this one. So it would hang like that. We'll try a different hole. I don't know why this makes me nervous, but it does. Okay, so we got another, and we got a new hook. Let's go see. Let's see what we think. Because this one would be in that proper shape. It would just be off to the side. Right? Like, it's just... Yeah, like, that one sits better, I feel like. Ooh, you know what? We should actually do this hole. You know why? <laughs> Cause it's right by the P. Cause the P then would be the thing that's out. Oh, okay. That they see the most, yeah. Uh, this is, this is it. Third time's a charm, Third right? Time is, I mean, we're just, <laughs> we're gonna put these things in each one of the holes. I guess out of all the things, that's the best. That's way. probably the best one. Cause then the P is like. Cause you can't put it near the like top little button thing, right? Like the. Up here? Yeah. Well, the, the only issue then is like, then you're literally puncturing the hat. I don't know, maybe I should do some, maybe I should do some more research on like how hats are. Is that how they Well, I saw this in on a picture already on Google. And I thought that would be the best cuz like no harming of the hat. Yeah. But lots of things and like lots of clothing items are like punctured in the within the seam. I mean, the other reason Wait, did you have like an idea sweatband? gonna look cute. No. Unless we were to like... <laughs> I have another idea. Yeah, that... <laughs> yeah. Like, if it's through the magnet part, which would also be like, if it was hanging like this, then we could, because I, I got those stickers Stickers that, that, that say open me? Ma yeah, that said magnetic. I'm magnetic. Theme, I'm magnetic open me. And then if this was like literally hanging through the back, I just, I don't know. And then it said like, I'm making See, I think open. that, like, I think that looks good. I mean, this is cool because then we can put that sticker. And, and they're, they're right first away, thing, like, gone. they're like, like oh, oh pony magnetic. back. Oh, it's magnetic. Like, it's different. It's not like a regular hat. And we're not harming any part of the hat because it's going through the sweatband yeah. seam. With inside, which is also kind of cool that that's like inside. We could even like put like the tag kind of like half in there because then it like looks like it could open. Like the actual hang tag kind of like oh, opening out. Oh, yeah. Maybe. I don't know if it would stay like that in like transport and, when I actually and then like it. when they load them onto the shelf and stuff, but. Yeah. I don't know. TBD, I guess. I think it would be cute if it had the like the I'm magnetic open me. Yeah. Like then you can see it way better because like. The other way it is like you see the Ponyback logo, which is like kind of cool, and like True. it looks cute. But like this Nothing one, I feel like you kind of like the first, you notice more like oh, it's something different. I know. Okay. 
Okay, well, I think maybe we'll, we'll have to just wait for those stickers to come, and then we'll try it, and I'll maybe send pictures to the buyer. Yeah. This is crazy. Do you like this hat? It has a lot of ear piercings. <laughs> it's like it no ears. other. This leg is so special. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, that was fun. final day we are sending out our shipment to our retailer in the US and just making the final preparations here we go Our final step, um, we're just honestly is working on the last box that we got a box up and then our last step is to weigh the big master cartons, create their shipping labels and then they're gonna be out the door baby! So here we go with the weigh-in, I wonder if I can show you guys this, not that it's that exciting. <laughs> in the camera. And I put this massive box on this tiny little tail. I think I have to go this way. It's like when you're wearing a suitcase before you go on the bike, right? Gosh, it is like that. <laughs> oh boy. Or, or. What do you think the weight's gonna be? 22 pounds. That's what it should be. Weird, consistent with like, I can't see the. <laughs> Get this on video. Do you want me to film it? Sure. <laughs> we'll get Hanukkah to film it because that will be a little bit better than me trying to randomly. Okay, and relief. <laughs> Feels good. Goodness. Yeah, get it out. <laughs> big US retail order and I am super excited that it's done. I mean, there was a lot of learnings and new things that came along with it that we had to figure out and problem solve on, on the go, but we did it and I'm super proud and I am like, whew, I can breathe easy, easy now. Um, anyways, I just wanted to say another huge shout out and thank you for being here and subscribing and following along on our journey. It's super, amazing to have such great community supporting us along this journey so thank you so much and um yeah if you have any questions would you just pop them down in the comments below we are super interested to see and answer all of your questions in future episodes so just let us know what you're curious about thanks guys thanks for being here have a great day see ya